Alvaro and Ryan Bear, the other captain. And along the back line for West Virginia, Frederick Jurgensen, Max Broughton, Dante Hushkin. That's an error. We do apologize. He is from London, England. Ball at the top of the 18. Mountaineers possess. Left-footed strike that time. And Bamford has on the wing for Silva. Silva back inside. Pass to the 18. And a sliding tackle that time. Great tackle. By the and the emotion of the crowd. And they don't have that today. They'll have to make their own momentum. Marco Silva right foot. Silva cuts inside to the top of the 18, but dumps it back for Sterngard. Now Marshall tries to slot it in for Pinto. Pinto right-footed strike, a diving Lee is able to deflect it out. A great job, just a real one-time shot from Hyde Pinto, but a beautiful save by Lee, diving to his left and sending it out. And it'll be a corner kick for the Herd, it's first of the match. Another you know, look at that one, as a great shot from our goal cam we've got today. As Pinto possessed, kind of popped it in the air to himself. The presser before the last matchup between these two. Stratford talked about it. He said, I used to babysit Chris's kids. Simone tries to settle it. Plays it off for Garcia Pasquale. Garcia Pasquale gets a shot. Takes it and it deflects off of a player at the top of the six. As Jackson Lee that time had come off of his back. Back though from both sides again. Marshall's attack has been building. Haven't had anything to show for it yet, but... It feels like the herd is getting ready to crack that back bar. Bell passes it right to Pasquale at the top of the six. Bouncing ball. Garcia Pasquale gets the equalizer. Alvaro Garcia Pasquale pulls out the bow and arrow along the end line. And Marshall ties it at one with 20-41 to go in the first half. Right on cue. Garcia Pasquale, the junior from Spain, seventh goal of the season. He was able to find some space about the top there, about the six. Stayed with it. Gets the goal. You take another look at it, a great individual effort, first of all, by Matthew Bell. And then another great individual effort by Pasquale. Kind of missed the touch on the first shot. Got it back, missed the second one. And then really on the deflection as Huckabee tried to clear. Utaro Sukata just outside the 18, crossing it in. Ball headed on frame, or just over frame that time by Caldera. A dangerous run from Caldera to the... Ball chipped in towards the box. There's somebody home on the back post. As making a run towards that post that time is... Not going to lie, Mountaineer numbers are a little difficult to see at times. Dara, give him a lot of credit. He's played so well these last couple weeks for Marshall. Ball played into the 18 for the Mountaineers. Shot on goal. And West Virginia takes the lead again. That's Sergio Ors Navarro for the second time. And the Mountaineers lead 2-1 here in the first half. Mountaineers celebrating right in front of the Marshall players who are warming up. As West Virginia gets its second tally from Ors Navarro. That's his third goal of the year against Marshall. And with 14.53 to go in the first half, the Mountaineers take the 2-1 lead again. A beautiful through ball, left-footed shot. And Ors Navarro went to the short side. Didn't defense. That has been an excellent offense so far. Ball crossed towards the top of the 18, bouncing around off of a couple heads. Sukata gets position, takes a shot, deflected, and Marshall for Marshall. Plays it off on the far side. There's Marco Silva. Silva crosses. Garcia Pasquale right at the top of the six. Heads it just over the crossbar. A great cross from Silva that time, and Garcia Pasquale just sent it slightly north. Oh, he would love to have that one back. Beautiful cross from Silva. The 6-3 Garcia Pasquale, just unable to get above it to keep it on frame, but had the goalkeeper beat. Yeah, great run by Garcia Pasquale. Plays it off for Pinto making a run. Back inside the box for Garcia Pasquale. Drops it off for South Carolina to get here. Marshall beating Old Dominion and Kentucky. Ball played in towards the 18 and great. Looking back at 
some games that Dan Stratford played in in Huntington. Back in 2006, he played an exhibition game here as Marshall chips it for Sordo. Sordo one-on-one, -on -one, left foot, rolls it past Jackson Lee, and Amen Sordo ties it for Marshall. 9.28 to go in the first half, and Sordo puts it in the back of the net, his fourth goal of the season. These two teams going back and forth early as the action nonstop. They are throwing haymakers at one another. And quite frankly, this is a sport that sometimes it appears almost impossible to score. Right now, these teams making the offensive skill look easy. Take another look that time as Marshall just beat the back line of West Virginia. And these last couple opportunities for Marshall, the herd's able to do something it was not able to do in Morgantown, which is really take advantage of that back line for the Mountaineers. Sordo gets around a defender, plays it for Sordo. Sordo with the pink boots, gets it for Garcia Pasquale. Back in towards the box for Gadar. Gadar with sides have been all year. Almost an hour first half, real time in Huntington. Left foot sent into the box, headed away by Marshall. Garcia Pasquale whiffs on the first attempt ahead for Perota, and Perota will send it out near side. And that'll be the first 45 minutes of action from here in Huntington. An eventful first 45 between the Mountaineers and the Thundering Herd as the score at the half, two all in the Sunbelt Conference Men's Soccer Championship match. We'll come back and we'll talk for the match, as you see Marshall President Brad Smith there briefly on your screen, in attendance at quite a few Marshall Athletics of Athletics. You got two top five teams in Marshall and West Virginia facing off. Sukata dribbling towards the 18. Sukata still ball at his feet and good defending that time at that time. Very similar really to Utaro Sukata. Marshall cross into the box, flicked that time by Garcia Pasquale. Silva was not making that back post run. He started sprinting towards Simone toying with it, right-footed cross. Garcia Pasquale's home, heads it on net, and Lee snares it out of the air. Jackson Lee, second team all-conference, shows why he was right. As Marshall had to show that back line up. Marshall chips it into Simone. Simone inside the 18, one touch, rolls it. Sukata ball at his feet, going up against Usum. Plays at top of the 18. Left-footed strike just for the 18. Plays it off for Roberto. Roberto crosses, chipped towards the net that time by Usum. And just over the crossbar. A beautiful. Sternguard hand is up. Ball sent into the 18, far post. Far side, Simone. Simone up ahead for a jetty. A jetty sprinting, using the speed. A jetty, a beautiful slide tackle by the Mountaineers. You just want to do it. Marshall plays it up for Roberto. He's got a step near side. Roberto, head off the head. Roberto cuts inside, crosses, shot for Marshall. Augustine Usum was there, and again, the Mountaineer back line, tremendous on the deflection as it goes. Roberto as well as a jetty still out there. Okiyoshi will give it a go from distance off the right hand of Lee. Roberto comes flying. Okiyoshi gave it a beautiful strike from distance. Ball played up ahead for Garcia Pasquale. No flag. Garcia Pasquale chips and bounces into the net. Alvaro Garcia Pasquale with his second goal of the match. And Marshall takes the 3-2 lead. Cue the bow and arrow from Alvaro Garcia Pasquale, and Marshall's on top with 13 and a half minutes to go. Garcia Pasquale telling his fellow Spain native Ors Navarro, I see your brace, I'll match your brace. Second goal of the match for Garcia Pasquale. The transfer from Coastal Carolina. And for the first time all afternoon, the Thundering Herd on top. Garcia Pasquale, we've mentioned just how good he's been for Marshall this year as he just chipped it right over the head of Jackson Lee. And that Mountaineer back line that's been so good all day today was not able to get to that one in time. Eight goals on the year now for Alvaro Garcia Pasquale. And that's eight goals in 12 matches for him as well. As 
to an extent towards the box. Ball chipped in, off of a head, off of a body of Fujita, bouncing around. Oki Yoshi will clear. Ormick, Ors Navarro, excuse me, Ors Navarro, top of the 18. Takes the shot and first. Full pole. One versus three in the Sunbelt Conference. Ducatney tries to cross and Perota does a pull up. Ors Navarro, as he tends to be the guy who's in the right place at the right time, at least when they play Marshall. Slipping crosses. Sukata was back there. Bell heads it away. Now back to Utaro Sukata for our side. Sukata rolls it towards Gabe Perl. Huckabee gets the ball in space far side for the Mountaineers. That's Ryan Crooks. Crooks. 17 seconds. High in the air. Fujita heads it away. Ball bouncing around. Mountaineers have a chance on the outside. Fujita lets it roll across the end line. Seven seconds to play. The clock's going to run out. And for 2023, the Marshall men's soccer team is your Sun Belt Conference men's soccer champions. Playing in the spring of 21. All the matches were played down in North Carolina. Marshall made an amazing run then. That got the interest up. That has built the foundation for what you are seeing now. You rewind back to that first match that we had the opportunity to call back on August 24th as the trophy goes up on the hands of Brian Amaro and Guga Vega. You go back to that first match, that match against Oakland on August 24th. Chris Grassi told me, and I quote, I know what this team's floor is. I do not know what their ceiling is. And that quote has really reigned true for this entire team. This team lost two matches in a row, just a couple, about three weeks or four weeks, about a month ago now. And you know, maybe there was some doubt that kind of crept in. Oh, oh no, this, you know, we're going to start playing poor at the wrong time of year. That did not affect the team. That did not affect the side. They have rebounded. They've avenged both those regular season losses in the last week. And they will hold up a second trophy this year. Go on with the Sunbelt Conference regular season championship. And this team needed some help along the way to get to this point. As they continue to announce the all-conference tournament team. From South Carolina, William Nilsen. As you take a look at it, a the all-conference tournament team. Ben a couple different players. Casper Lem, from South Kentucky, Carolina. Casper Bull. William Nielsen, South Carolina. Ben Damji and Casper Moll.